Hi mateys, it's Dazzling Latte and welcome to a recipe video. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is going to be on my new channel, okay? I'm craving tofu. <laughs> and I thought, you know, it would be nice, you know, since, since, you know, the channel name, the first thing that goes up on it would be a tofu recipe. So, oh, <laughs> vegan crab cakes, okay? I know how to make these. <coughs> okay, so oh, one thing you're gonna need is a package of tofu. Um, Meyer sells them for really cheap. I think it's like a dollar seventy nine per package, and I use extra firm tofu. And I got some lemon. Oh wait, no, that's that's not. No, forget that. <laughs> that's for the other part of it. Okay, <clears throat> we got some. Oh my gosh! That, mm. <clears throat> okay, so Supreme Tradition New Orleans style seafood seasoning. This stuff's really good. <laughs> um, next, we got some cornstarch. It's gonna help kind of bind things. <laughs> um, I d okay, so my recipe for this does call for sautéed onions, but I'm kind of running low, so I'm just gonna throw in some green onion with it and see how it happens. You know, see what happens. <coughs> Worst time for that to happen. Worst time for. <coughs> I just woke up from a nap. I could have been snoring or something, but. <coughs> It's salted seaweed snacks. Okay, seaweed is an ingredient, you know, that we use in there. It, it gives it that fishy taste. Okay, so we just cut open the packet of tofu. I used a knife, <laughs> and we just like drain it into something. Okay, I've got I've got a Burger King cup here. <laughs> purposes of time management. We're just we're just gonna drain it into that. Okay. Let's get all that excess water out of there. Package press the way open. Yeah, I always I always press the tofu. Okay. So we got a couple pieces of paper towel couple of plates and then I fold this, put it on the bottom plate, and then we take the tofu. Oh, I tried to try to transfer it. <laughs> okay, so just grab the tofu. Just pick it up like that and just plop it on the plate. Like that. And then okay. And then Take the second paper towel and put it on top of the tofu. Put the plate on top of the paper towel, and then oh, I got a jar of pasta sauce, and we just like just to, like press it down in there. Okay, <laughs> that's that's my little homemade tofu press. So. Where am I gonna put everything? Okay, we should probably get started on the other like prep for this while well, that's getting all situated. Um, okay, I'm gonna start sauteing the onions. Ah! <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna saute them with butter. I have some vegan butter. Plug my Roku. Oh no. <laughs> my sandwich maker's dirty. I'll be right back. Sandwich maker's clean. Okay, so. <clears throat> Let me get the butter. <laughs> oh, I always forget stuff like that. Okay. 
We just got some country crock plant butter. And this stuff is good. Like if you got a coupon for it and if it's like on sale, cause like I always get it when it's like the buy five, say five sale and then I got a coupon. Like you gotta get it, you gotta get it. So we're gonna plug this on in. This works really good for some, like just cooking things. I know I probably shouldn't be touching it. It's, it's plugged. <laughs> Put that on there. Okay, I gotta grab myself. Something, something to spread it with. Oh, no, I don't have that spatula. That spatula is not clean. Just do a butter knife. Just get all the butter up in there. Yeah, I can start putting the green onion on there. Okay. So I cannot hold the camera <laughs> and do that at the same time. So one second. Okay, this is perfect. Okay, so first we got the onion onions. Oh, it smells like butter in here. It really smells like butter. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, for some reason, I really, really want to do up like a cherry cobbler right now. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh, the smell of butter. The smell of butter and like thinking about a pie crust and oh. Okay. So, green onions are looking a little worse for wear. And no, it's, it's getting close to grocery day again. But we could just like cut off those ends, you know? And everything all up in that butter. Mm. Okay, and then what I like to do is I like to close the lid. Just let it kind of steam. All the flavors soak up. Okay. How am I going to cut off the seaweed? How am I going to cut off the seaweed? Um, let me put the green onion back in the fridge. Shove that back on in there. Okay, so we're gonna. <laughs> I got a limited space. Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit of limited space here. Okay. Are you even gonna be able to see me? You're not gonna be able to see me. Okay. So. Oh my gosh, you have to see this. <laughs> oh! Let's start with the butter. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I wish you could smell this. It's so good. Okay, that looks done. I'm gonna scoop this uh, like onto a plate or something and then we're gonna get the seaweed going. So we're just gonna like, I could get a whole bunch of these. Oh my gosh, I could just crumble them. I think everything's ready to go with the seaweed. Oh my gosh, that stuff will not get off my hands. Okay. I think this is ready to go. And then we've got the tofu. Okay, let me set that there for a second. Okay, so we're just we're just gonna crumble it. Just, just I could use a fork to do this. Okay, I think I got it covered. Okay, so next, put the seaweed in there. that on in. And then we got our seafood seasoning. <laughs> I usually just sprinkle a little bit. I never really um measure it, just like... Yeah, that looks about good. I make the cornstarch, which, which the camera's sitting on, so excuse me. Okay, so we've got the cornstarch. We're gonna put a little bit of that in there. Yes, how much? Let's say maybe a heaping teaspoon. Maybe a couple heaping teaspoons. Let's see how that does. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I'm gonna add the sauteed onions. I got some panko breadcrumbs right here from Chef Cupboard. We're gonna get like about a handful of that and then we're just gonna shape it into like a 
<laughs> I almost had a Krabby Patty. <laughs> crab cake. Like that. And then we're just gonna plop it in the... <laughs> the breadcrumbs and get it all nice and coated. I really like to get these coated. Just all... All up in there. I got some pear vegetable oil in there and then we're gonna just plop one of those on it. It's it's gonna take a bit. It's gonna take a bit. I've done this before in my sandwich maker. Like, the key is is to not have it fall apart. Okay, so I melt some butter in there. <laughs> Probably not the healthiest thing, but you know. And I flip it. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I could do this while holding the camera. Like that, and then, <laughs> can you see it? There we go. Like I said, that's probably gonna take a while, but like, that's kind of how you do it. You just keep flipping it until it gets all crispy on the outside. <laughs> I know it looks gross. I know it looks gross. This is oil mixed with butter. Okay, so I'll be back when all of these are fried on up. Some of them fell apart. <laughs> can you see that? Okay, okay. Let me, just, let me just turn the plate. That's that's what, <laughs> that is what the first crab cake looks like. It it is a bit of an art trying not to get it to break, cause like I'm doing this up in the sandwich maker. But still, still, that one did not break. <laughs> that's the crab cakes, the vegan crab cakes. They came out really good. Okay, that one's my favorite. It just it got really crispy. <laughs> okay, so now. I'm gonna show you how to do up a vegan tartar sauce. Tartar sauce? I I, forget, I don't know how to, you, you know. Okay, let's make up the tartar sauce. We've got Hellman's Vegan Mayo. We got dill relish, um, lemon juice, and dill weed. This is how I make it up every single time. Okay, so. I usually kind of like, estimate the amount that I need. Like, like if it's not thick enough, I'll just add a little more mayo. It was like too thick, like a little lemon juice or something. Okay, we're just, we're just gonna make a smaller, smaller portion of this. Okay, so like just a few, I'd say, I'd say tablespoons of vegan mayo. <laughs> A little bit of lemon juice, you know. Just a little bit. It, I'd, I'd say about that. Just to where it looks like that, you know. Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit in there. Let me sprinkle some of this on here. Some of the delete. <laughs> I'm so bad. It just. Oh no. <laughs> I dropped a little bit of pickles on the floor. Okay, so. I can't use a soup ladle. I really can't. Okay, there we go. We got a, we got a plastic spoon. And we just, we just like a little bit of that. You know? I like a lot of pickles. So we're just <laughs> like two teaspoons. Heaping teaspoons. You know? And just mix that together and if it's too thin I'm just I'm gonna add a little more mayo to it okay yeah that needs a little more mayo just another teaspoon in there needs more pickles <laughs> I love it there's a, a ton of pickle relish I'm just getting pickle relish everywhere mm -hmm. perfect I don't need to add anything. Okay, it's a little bit, it's a little bit runny. I don't want it runny. Okay, just, this is another teaspoon of mayo. It's more dill. Okay, I think that's the best I'm gonna do. That's the tart sauce. But yeah, play around with the different ingredients, you know, make it however you want. But that's basically what I put in, into my tartar sauce. Okay, I'm gonna do a taste test. I want to pick up my favorite one, my favorite crab cake. It came out so perfect! <laughs> a little bit tartar sauce. You can tell I cooked that in butter. Oh gosh. Mm. 
kind of crispy and a little bit greasy. I got some carrots <laughs> to go along with it. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, I, th I think it tastes good. Again, I did cook it in vegan butter, so it's not healthy. I think adding the, se the seaweed, it, it tops everything off. Because, like, seaweed tastes like seafood. Okay, so that's my my little recipe video. I just, I smell like cooking and I, um, I have so many other ideas. Like, so many other ideas. And um, also, I want to do it. I would be doing grocery hauls and stuff on this channel and all that kind of stuff. And it's just, it's gonna be fun. I just I just want a channel dedicated to like cooking because like I just I do a lot of food videos and like those don't kind of those kind of don't mix in with like my main channel because like it's beauty related. So. I'm just, I'm just gonna start posting food videos here. You know, I'm not gonna start on another carrot stick because it will take me forever to eat it. Okay, so. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's butter all over my hands. Okay, so. For now, you can go, but until the next time, smooth sailing to you and your pirate crew.